What is going on YouTube? It's your boy One Karma man. Welcome to another 2K banger man. In today's video man, I'm going to be showing you my my little trick on how as you guys can see I am in the amethyst uh why well, I, I I won the amethyst uh the amethyst tier and I'm moving on to the diamond tier, I believe. Um I'm going to show you guys a way that I got a lot of wins and it's not to say that I can't get wins with my main team. I just wanted to make it a little easy for uh for myself. You know what I'm saying? A little bit more stress free. Um, so anyways, man, if you're excited for the video, make sure to drop a like, man. I'm going to show you guys some, some, you know what I'm saying, 1,000 IQ, uh, NBA 2K God level stuff. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy, man. So anyways, man, I'm not going to open this yet. Uh, I do have a no money, as you guys can see, I did make it to the diamonds here. I am running a no money spent, uh... A series on my uh, on my YouTube channel so make sure you guys go ahead and check that out if you would like to um, yeah man like I just said I don't I don't spend money on the game I just uh, I think I kind of ex uh, exposed it there but I, I just kind of grind the game and this is the team that I have again as you can see I have 242,000 MT um, if I sell Richard Jefferson I would probably be at like 270 to 80 depending on how much I get for him uh, as well as Boris Dia but I, I'm not looking to sell these two players because uh, for their value, they're pretty decent. They're pretty decent players. Um, so, anyways, man. Without further ado, I, this is the lineup that I use. Now, obviously, there's a lot of interchangeable parts. Um, pretty much the whole, you know, what I'm saying two through four, two through five is interchangeable. But basically, what I like to do, what I like to do, man, is I like to have one go-to guy, okay? And my go-to guy is Nick Van Exel. All right. And then on my bench, I like to have, uh, I have Ben Simmons. Now, you guys are going to say I'm stupid or whatever. I put Hall of Fame downhill on him. By the way, it makes no, like, it makes no change. Like, I don't see a giant, like, speed difference. And I don't even think he had, oh, I think he had gold downhill, maybe? I'm not even sure, man. But to be honest, I don't see much of a difference. Um, I only put it on him because I, I really do like this card. And he's a first owner or, uh whatever i don't know i got him out of a pack so i'm never gonna sell him no matter what happens so but it is what it is man but basically man i just like to surround my my team with shooters and lockdown defenders clay thompson and paul george are obviously amazing shooters there's other guys that you can get um i also have danny green i would highly recommend danny green he's an absolute stroker um uh yeah man i have Peja again who's a shooter uh myers leonard is actually very trash um, I had Porzingis in here for a lot of my run, but because I added, I think, Nick Van Exel, I added Nick Van Exel and took out, uh, Patty Mills, um, so that dropped my, so, like, in order to get to, like, the 82 rating that I wanted to have, um, I had to downgrade Myers Leonard, or I had to downgrade Christoph Porzingis into Myers Leonard, but yeah, man, this is the team that I run with, man, I, I would, I would suggest, like I just said, try to get to, like, an 82 or below, okay, um, although I have not played at an 83, I think I played at an 84 and I matched up with it with a, with a God tier, not a God tier team, but a very good team. Um, I'm pretty sure I still won the game, but still, man, it's, it's very hard. And I'm going to be showing you guys just a little bit of gameplay. I don't want to, I don't want to make this too much gameplay because, uh, I just want to make this a short video, man. I just want to tell you guys, like, this is the lineup that I use, um, this lineup. If you come up against, uh, obviously most people don't have George Mikan. But if you have the tokens, get Al Horford. Get any big man um, that can shoot, um, that can shoot and has decent, decent defense and like you know, uh, good rebounding. But anyways, man, I I've lost like the, I think one game, uh, one game with this team. Gets me, it gets me mad. W's and Kyle Lowry is an absolute beast. He's got clamps, he's got range, he's got dimer, he's got floor general, and uh, basically off my bench, I run my team through Ben Simmons. Now. DeMar DeRozan is also a very good player to run your team around. Um, he doesn't, like, if, if, if your opponent starts zoning you up, uh, DeMar DeRozan is very good at, like, getting past the first two defenders, and he, like, finishes, you know what I'm saying? He finishes dunks and tra uh, shots in traffic. I know DBG came out with a video saying he's absolutely worthless, but I, I to be honest, when I first started playing 2K, I was going through him, and I was scoring a lot of points. And like I said, I... People were playing zone on me, and I was breaking it down. I, I will come out with a video on how to break down zones. It's pretty pretty easy, man. Um, but yeah, man, I run my team through Ben Simmons. He's like he's an absolute mismatch. Um, obviously, if this doesn't work, then I do just go. I simply go. You know, I take him out, and I just go with Page. I'll go with another shooter. Um, 
I'll go with George Mikan at the four, Leonard at the four. But anyways, man, this is a team that I went with, so let's just jump into a game, man, and I'm going to show you guys this. This is foolproof. If you play a game like this, you're going to run up. You're going to run up against uh, a team with the same, same, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, with the same overall, and it's usually going to be a person who just started playing, um, who's, like, new to 2K and doesn't really know, like, the, you know what I'm saying, the, the best, the best players to buy, or he simply just doesn't have the MT, you know what I'm saying, and this is an exploit, but at the end of the day, man, you gotta do what you gotta do, man, people are going to do this, um, I actually came up against three or four overall cheesers who literally had, like, two diamonds, and, like, Iguodala and uh, Ray Allen and you know a whole bunch of cards to lower their overall and a bunch of a bunch of bronze players But the thing about my team is that I Have base I have literally two teams so I could just swap them back and forth um, If something does if something like isn't working I'll literally just play one player the whole game or and I'll keep switching it back and forth So like it, it keeps me unpredictable. So I he can't he can't like necessarily hone in on one thing because he doesn't know what players I have on the uh, on the court. You know what I'm saying? Um, Byron Russell and Danny Green are, again, lights out shooters. Clay Thompson does have the Clay Thompson glitch where he does guard centers sometimes. But I, I don't... I haven't really seen it that much. They might have they might have fixed it, to be honest. But, um, but yeah, man. Anyways, let's get on to a game. Let's see if we can match up against a, a regular team. All right, bros. Let's get into it. Hey, man. If you're new to the channel, man, like I said uh, earlier, I don't know if I mentioned it already. But we do this 2K thing over here, man. Um, I would highly, uh, you know what I'm saying, it would be highly likely good idea for you to subscribe. Um, uh, anyways, man, if this video does help you out, then, you know what I'm saying, I hope you drop a like for me. Um, let's see. Yeah, see, this guy's overall cheesing. But it's all good, bro, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm gonna show you that, like, we can beat this guy easily. This, this shouldn't be a problem. Giannis can't shoot, Willard Reed can't shoot, we're literally gonna zone him up, and eventually... Eventually, we're going to, you know what I'm saying, get the best of him. He can't hold. He, he's not going to be able to keep hitting shots consistently with Damian Lillard and uh, Michael Cooper. It's a dot. Let's go, boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, Myers. Oh, Myers. Oh, Myers. Let's go. Four-point lead, man. Like I tell you, this is easy, easy money, bros. It's a bucket. Let's go, Peja. It's a bucket. It's a bucket. Come on, bro. Stop playing with me, man. Get this man off the court, yo. Get his mom or some shit, yo. All right, boys. So that was very, man. That was very, uh... I don't even know what the word is, man. That was very, uh, extraneous... Um, as you guys can see, we blew him out by 40. Now, like I said during the video, like I said, I don't know how my editor is going to do this. But, like I said during the video, man. You are not, chances are, you're not going to run into a person that is overall cheesing. Now, I don't know if it, if, if that, if I'm affected by being in the, in the, in the Diamond League. Or if, you know, before, I, I had only matched up against one overall cheeser in the Amethyst League. But anyways, I had got all the way up to the Amethyst League using this method. Um, I hope this guy... Is, I hope this guy's... I hope this really helped y'all guys. Um, like I said, I'm trying to do like... I'm going to try to do more tip videos in the future. Because I know these uh, do really help a lot of people, man. But anyways, man. That's going to do it for me. I forgot to check the box score. But anyways, man. Uh, ben Simmons had like 15 and 6. He's an absolute beast, man. If you, Especially if you're matching up against a regular... A regular team um, not like that guy and even then he was killing uh, Willis Reed he was absolutely destroying him and as you guys know he's he's a sapphire so yeah man anyways that's gonna do it for me man thank you guys so much for watching man um, if, you, if you made it all the way up to the, this part of the video man make sure to please drop a like I would really really appreciate it and it's gonna do it for me man see you guys in this next video man